thanks uh, for joining me in uh, my uh, lesson uh, and the DevOps lessons uh, from a primary school teacher. I'm Tim. Uh, I'm a senior developer advocate at DigitalOcean. Uh, but before I start, as I said, I am not a primary school teacher and I want to give credit where credit is due. Uh, this talk has been inspired by my lovely partner who is a primary school teacher and um, it comes from all the stories she tells me coming back from school and how the kids uh, act, they're all a bit crazy. Uh, she teaches seven, eight year olds um, and how she deals with that. I could not entertain 20 kids for more than five minutes unlike what I'm doing now. Uh, <laughs> but first, let's talk about CALMS. So CALMS is a framework uh, that assesses uh, the ability to adopt DevOps. Um, and as engineers, we are fairly comfortable with automation, lean and uh, measurement because we can put tech to it and we love tech. Uh, so my talk is actually going to talk about culture and sharing. Stay in your seats, don't leave. Uh, um, and like every classroom, I expect some interaction. So we'll be uh, using hand gestures. I only have five minutes, you cannot stop me. Um, so I'd like you to use these hand gestures and these hand gestures only, not the rude ones, please. Uh, so if you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. If you disagree with me, give me a fist. And I'm happy for you, to, for you guys to um, um, disagree with me. And if you have a difference of opinion or a different method, use the shaka sign as if you're serving. So our first lesson is actually a uh, theory called the zone of proximal development and it states that learning can only be done outside of what you currently know. Uh, so teachers should never set learning expectations outside of the ZPD or the green area. Um, in essence they don't want to be in the red or the blue because it's either too difficult or too easy. As a simple example, when you start addition, you don't start to learn how to add in the thousands, but you start to learn how to add in 10, 20, 50, so on and so forth. And similarly, in our industry, we cannot expect our PHP or Java developers, PHP is still very relevant, um, to learn how to figure out Kubernetes and service meshes and the networking of Kubernetes. It's a black art, which uh, a lot of people don't know. So we need to allow our engineers, and I'm glad there are some managers here because this goes to you. You need to allow your engineers some time to learn. And uh, conferences like this, KCD, DevOps days, and workshops are extremely important for that. So our first proper lesson, and I, these are actual methods used by my partner, is my turn, our turn, your turn. So we start with the teacher, which models the learning. She then uh, asks the kids to come in, our turn, and then the kids go off and do that on their own. Um, similarly, in our industry as engineers, we can do this uh, through peer programming, and um, you can do that through... Uh, tour guide pair programming, which is my turn. We then use driver navigator pair programming, our turn, uh, and then the engineer can go off on their own and do it themselves. So this is a great way of helping junior engineers improve on the system. Next one is give one, get one. And this is where the teacher asks the kids to write down a fact that they know. So they write down a fact about how to add, for example, they then go around the classroom and give one of that fact and get one from each and every one of their uh, classmates. And we can do this uh, to get a good understanding of um, knowledge harvesting. Uh, when you're starting a program or starting a project, you want to go around table around the engineers and tell them, what do you know? What do I know? Share that knowledge and make sure that you have the uh, desired uh, knowledge for the outcome you want. Uh, talking chips is next, um, and this is where you give kids chips to make sure that they input and say everything. Sometimes you have kids that don't talk too much or talk too little, so chips are extremely important. And who has been here in a meeting, a planning meeting, that uh, a scrum planning meeting, for example, where only two engineers talk? the lead engineer and only another engineer. Well, use talking chips to get everybody involved and everybody uh, involved in the planning sessions. And finally, expert groups. Uh, I think I have 
half a minute left, uh, expert groups. Uh, this is where you have groups um, of kids get a few, um, <laughs> get a few uh, information, then they share the, the expertise they, they got with the rest of the class. This is similar to team topologies and enabling teams. Enabling teams are expert groups that uh, help stream align teams uh, move faster. Finally, this one, I have to do the slide. Uh, it's not always lessons. I do randomly get photos. Uh, the pumpkin, yes, that is a pumpkin. The uh, cow with the very interesting tail. Uh, and the uh, kid that is an engineer in the making. Uh, so yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for Thank the extra you. half minute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.